It's Teach Tuesday, and it's time for a card trick with a bang. So this is what the card trick would look like for the spectators, and then after we're done, I'll teach you how to do it. You start off with a, uh, a deck of cards. You're gonna have somebody uh, just touch a card, any one at all, whichever one they touch, you have them take a little peek at. That goes back into the deck where it can be shuffled and mixed up. Then you're gonna give your spectator one of these. It's a gun, a handgun to be specific. Don't worry, the safety is on. You're gonna offer that to your spectators. They're gonna take the gun. You're gonna have them aim it carefully at the deck of cards. And on the count of three, they're gonna pull the trigger and yell bang. One, two, three, bang. Then we look through the deck for the one card, one special card, the only one with a little hole in it, a little bullet hole, which just so happens to be their card, the Two of Hearts. This is a really fun card trick to perform at uh, parties where people can be loud and kind of theatrical. Um, it's fun for, for groups of friends. Um, and there is a little bit of setup, um, but nothing, nothing too difficult. Obviously, you're going to have to prepare a special card. And the easiest way to do that is to take a pen and just poke a hole right about there. You don't want it in the middle, and you want it at one end, and you're gonna see why in a minute. But you want a nice big bullet hole, something that's visible from at least a little, uh, a little distance. And if you wanna go the extra mile, you can also take a lighter and give it just a little burn, uh, a little, little bit of soot on the card right there, just around that hole, just to give it that extra little bullet hole detail. Of course, if you are gonna do that and you're uh, a little bit younger, make sure you get your parents' permission or, or have them help you out because you don't wanna be burning down the house with a card trick, that's never fun. Your bullet card, uh, you're going to have it on top of the deck and you're gonna force this card. Basically, that's a, a term in magic that means you're going to get somebody to pick that specific card. And there's n a number of different ways to have somebody do that but I'll show you the way that, uh, that I would do it for this trick so that nobody ever sees the hole or your, uh, your burn marks. So you're gonna have that on top of the deck, and if you put the hole in the corner there, if you put it uh, in the bottom left-hand corner uh, on this side, uh, when you flip it over, it'll be in the bottom right-hand side. And that's nice because then you can kind of show the deck cleanly, uh, just covering up that hole very easily. So you've got your marked card, you've got it on top of the deck, how do you get them to pick that card? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna offer them uh, a card to pick, and you're gonna start by thumbing off just two or three cards, and then say, uh, go ahead, just touch a card, just touch one, anyone you'd like. They'll touch a card, you'll square them up, and you'll show them that card, the two of hearts. So what did I do there? Well, I thumbed off uh, that card, maybe two or three more, and then I just started feeding other cards on top of, of that pile, keeping the two hearts on the bottom there. So just keep spreading them uh, into that gap that you've kind of created. And then once they touch a card, let's say they touch this one right here, I'm gonna square them up and that card is just gonna go in behind the two of hearts in the action of squaring them up. Then you can show them that card and look away, show them the card, and it's, uh, it's nice because you can hide that mark with your hand there. I'll do that again for you. You've got your card on top with the hole in the bottom right-hand corner. You thumb off a few cards, then keep spreading into the gap like this. They eventually touch a card. You square them up and then show them the card. So you want it when you do the, uh, the tap, you want to do that down and then bring the cards up. I'm just doing it up there so that you can see, but thumb off a few, have them touch a card, and then show them. So once they've looked at the card, you're gonna place that pile back into the deck. You can cut them a couple times or shuffle them. And there is one more little move here that's important. You wanna make sure that the deck does a complete 180 turn. What that's gonna do is put your bullet hole in the top left-hand corner and also at the top section of the card so that when you show it, it's a little more impressive. It looks like something has actually appeared there. Whereas if you didn't do the 180 turn, it would be in the bottom corner and they may be able to, to, to kind of recall that 
uh, when you showed the card, you were covering like that. So if it's up here, it's just a little more impressive, a little more deceptive. So after you uh, have done uh, the, the force and they've taken a look at it, it goes back into the, the deck and you cut them, just give it a casual 180 turn as you're setting the deck down. Um, and that's, that's all there is for moves. And the rest is just acting from there. You're going to uh, set the deck down, pull out of your pocket a gun, and you can make any sort of jokes you want there. I particularly like the handgun joke. Uh, pass this off to your spectator. Have them aim the gun very carefully. Again, you can make jokes about them aiming it away from your face at the, the deck of cards. And on the count of three, have them yell bang as loud as they can as they shoot the deck. And you can pretend like the bullet hit the deck. They can, you can take the gun back or have them set that down and then spread through the deck until you come to your special bullet card. You can go a couple more and just kind of show that that is the only special card in the deck and then flip it around to reveal their card. That's all there is to this one, but I think it's uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, it's an, like I said, it's a nice kind of theatrical trick that uh, that gets gets pretty good reactions. This is a fun one, and I haven't seen too many people do it. I, I remember my mentor showing me this one a long, long time ago, and I, it might not even have been this exact presentation, but something similar with a, a bullet card uh, at the end of the trick. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or, or other comments about the trick, feel free to leave those down below, and I will see you guys next week.